Liquid Libations, our show about mixology. And I'm Ethel Andrews, I'm a bartender mixologist. And we're doing a bit of an adventure into making drinks with what is known as shrub. And as I explained on an earlier show, shrub is actually a term for vinegars that are infused with fruit or made with fruit that add a lovely tartness and kind of a different characteristic to cocktails. For one thing, again, it keeps the cocktail clear. It isn't opaque or cloudy, like if you add fruit juices. And it has a distinctive bite to it that really makes a cocktail that you cannot compare with anything else. And there's pretty much a, a situation where shrub can be used in any type of an alcohol. And with this particular episode, we're gonna make sh a drink with rum and a pear-based shrub, which is kind of a unique combination. And again, I always have a tendency to wanna to call it brush, but it is shrub. And shrub, again, has been around since colonial times. The pilgrims actually used to use it. So very interesting drink and very unique. And you can make them yourself if you wish. And the main thing to remember is to use a white balsamic vinegar. Some people have used, as I mentioned before, apple cider vinegar and even distilled vinegar, but you're gonna get kind of an odd taste and an odd finish that actually interferes with the enjoyment of the alcohol and the base liquor if you do that. But if you use white balsamic, you're gonna get that bite and that acidity that's supposed to be there with the shrub and the maceration of the berries or the fruit that you make it with or the herbal ingredients that you make it with. And this particular shrub, the pear one, again was made by macerating it in sugar and in balsamic vinegar. And you can buy them which is what I did in this particular case, or you can make it yourself. And it requires, again, going to a somewhat upscale liquor merchant to get shrub. And there are um, dealers, you might say, over the internet that will sell you shrub also. And this is something, if you really want to impress people who have a sophisticated palate and who think they've had every conceivable cocktail, this will definitely impress them because it is something indeed unique and different. So we're gonna go about making a cocktail out of pear shrub and rum with the addition of some lime. And again, I prefer to use a golden rum. And usually it's better, which kind of goes counter to what I usually suggest. If you're making cocktails with shrub, to use a bit better quality alcohol, but not absolutely top shelf. In other words, don't go out and you know, dump half your paycheck on a bottle of alcohol, but use something that's a bit, a bit better than the average for this type of a drink. So anyway, I didn't do that in this case to show that it's okay if you can't, but better if you can. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a modest amount of ice to the shaker. We don't need a whole lot to make these particular cocktails. Just a few cubes will do. Because we, want, we don't want the drink to be overly watery, but at the same time, we don't want it to be warm. We want it to be cooled down a bit, but not ridiculously so. Because that way it kind of balances out the flavor of the shrub if we do it that way. So we're gonna go ahead and add our rum, first of all. And then we're gonna go ahead and add the pear shrub. And again, this was made by macerating um, fresh pear in balsamic vinaigrette along with sugar because that way it extracts all the goodness out of the fruit, but doesn't ruin it if you cook it. Because some people or corporations that sell shrub will cook it. And that's okay, but it tends to detract a little bit from the flavor, unless it's an herbaceous based shrub. So we're gonna go ahead and add the pear shrub to this concoction here, to the, the rum. And then we're gonna add a bit of lime. And these limes are kind of I must apologize, gnarly looking. 
because they came off a tree, but in spite of their appearance, far preferred over the ones that you get in stores, which tend to not be that good. And as I usually do, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the spent shell in the drink. And right now I'm gonna cut off a little bit of the lime that we're gonna use as a garnish in this particular shrub cocktail. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake it. And again, we're gonna use a nice martini glass because that's probably the best way to exhibit this cocktail. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and dispense it now. I have to get every last drop out of that cocktail shaker. So here we have another drink that's been made with shrub. And again, this is one that involves rum, lime, and pear infused shrub. And I should qualify that too because actually this is different from an infusion. Yeah, because this product involves vinegar which brings that acid balance into the drink. And I'm gonna go ahead and try it out. Oh yeah, that is very nice. And this is a situation where, as was the case with the whiskey-based drink and the apple shrub, this balances out the rum and the shrub. As neither one eclipses the other, they both balance one another well, but this takes away from what could be perceived by some as the harshness of rum, and also the vinegariness of the shrub is balanced out by the rum. So you're getting the best of both worlds, and you can taste the fruit very pronounced and very much up front, just like you could with the apple in the whiskey-based drink. So this is a very nice drink, and I call it the perfect storm. Because again, it's a balance, a, a lovely balance of the rum and the shrub. So it is like the perfect storm. And this is a cocktail, again, that you can impress your guests with who think that they've tried everything. This is something that chances are, unless they frequent very expensive, upscale establishments, or if they can enjoy the luxury of hiring on a very, very high level celebrity league, you might say mixologist to mix drinks in their home. Yeah, this is one of those sort of drinks. And again, as you can see, you can make it yourself. You don't have to resort to necessarily hiring someone to do this. You can make it yourself at home. And you can either make the shrub yourself or purchase it. So, lovely drink, the perfect storm. And the addition of lime kind of kicks it up a little bit and it doesn't interfere with the acidity of the vinegar. It actually enhances that and vice versa too. And enhances the pear and keeps it from becoming a bit too cloying and sweet as pear could be. And again, as I always mention on my show, whenever we consume alcoholic beverages, whether it be at a party, at home, or at an establishment, let's keep our community safe and well-spoken of by showing good sense and moderation in our consumption. And there's nothing uh, bad about getting a designated driver. Some people feel that it's an insult to them, that it's a reflection that they can't handle their alcohol. But it really doesn't matter how well you can handle alcohol, it's where your blood alcohol level is. So better to have a designated driver in order to get home safely and not to get yourself in trouble. So thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of Good Libations, our adventures in mixology and cocktails and bartending, and the program about the use of shrub. My name is Ethel Andrews. And our program, again, is Good Libations. Thank you, and good